Hello and welcome to a brand new Lost Ark video. Today I have a short video guide explaining how adventure book works, what percentage should you prioritize and how hard is it to complete each item in the adventure book. Keep in mind that this was recorded on Russian version, so all the translation will most likely be different on western release. Please watch the video till the end as I will show you the website where you can find guides to every single item in adventure book where to obtain them and how to complete them. You open Adventure Book by pressing N on your keyboard. When you open it for the first time, it might look scary and confusing as there is a lot of things staring at you. But don't worry, I will try to simplify it as much as possible. In the top left corner, you can select continents. Each continent has its own rewards and its own items you need to collect and complete to gain percentage. On western release there will only be 10 continents in adventure book, while new ones will be added as new content is released. Rewards are in a way different but also very similar. Each 10% you complete unlocks a reward up to 100%. Completing 100% on western release in tier 1 will be impossible due to 100% completion requiring max reputation with a rapport NPC in the continent which is a very long process. Getting 80% is fairly easy and fast and you should prioritize continents that unlock skill potions. Those continents are East Lutheran, North Vern, Shushire and Rohendel. Getting these 4 continents to 70% will unlock masterpieces and skill potions. I will be using North Vern Adventure Book as example and explanation of each item in the book. Completing main story quest in each continent will give you the highest percentage and it is going to be highlighted under rewards. Collectibles is something that in theory you can farm and grind, but the RNG is not going to be in your favor. You will gain small amounts of each collectible item while you do your main story quest as they drop from normal mobs. Good thing is that all collectibles are tradable, which means you will want to buy them at marketplace. In Auction House, search the name of the collectible and buy the amount you are missing. For example, a collectible called Being a Guardian, I have collected 5 out of 10. So buying 5 more will complete that one item. Most of them will be fairly cheap later on, but be careful on Western release as the prices might be very high until people figure out what the items do. Special Cuisine is the food that you need to craft at Chef NPC from various ingredients. You find those ingredients from different sources and when you collected all of them, you craft them at the Chef. For example, Octopus Lunch requires Octopus Salad and Octopus Salad requires Octopus Leaves that you can buy in Rania Village Store. Same for Squirrel Meatballs and the last ingredient is RNG Drop from Field Boss. Not all ingredients for each food are obtained in the same way. Some are super easy while others are hard due to RNG. Viewpoints or vistas are something you need to activate at specific location that will then showcase a view of the location as it is flying through. It is your generic vista mechanic from other games and you activate it by clicking on the spyglass and then you enjoy the view. Each continent will have maximum of 3 dungeons that you need to clear in both normal and hard mode as it is showcased by the two icons. When item has been completed, there should be one blue icon for the normal mode and one red icon for the hard mode. Unique monsters are scattered all over continents and most of them you will kill without knowing while you level and do main story quest. Each continent has 15 unique monsters you have to kill. Each of them has specific location where it is located and you will know which monster it is by yellow glowing icon above their head and the sound of adventure book completion after you kill it. When it comes to field bosses there can be maximum of two that you need to kill per continent. In higher regions and continents, one if not both of the bosses will be event bosses. You can see in your event calendar when the boss will spawn. 
For example, you can see when Bernie's octopus spawn and where is the location of the boss. Every continent has two sub-stories. These normally unlock after you complete specific part of the main story quest and there are always normal yellow quests. Going back and completing every single yellow quest on a continent is one way of completing it, but it is a waste of time. So the best way is to follow a guide and know exactly where the NPC with the quest is located. Hidden stories are almost the same as sub-stories except you don't look for NPCs and it's not a yellow quest. It is an item that is hidden on the ground, very hard to spot unless you know exactly where and what to look for. These are normally completed by just clicking on them and some of them have multiple parts but you need to find different items that connect to one another. Best way to complete these items is by following a written guide. Affinity completions or a rapport is something you don't focus on, as I said before it is a very long process of obtaining every single NPC's rapport reputation at max. You will complete this over time, NPC by NPC. And the last thing that we have are triports that you activate while you are leveling and do main story quest. This should normally always be 100% after you finish main story quest and triports are all visible on the map and easy to activate. To make completing all the items in Adventure Book easy, I strongly recommend you check out the Max Roll website as they have a guide on literally everything Lost Ark related. There you will find how to complete each adventure book sorted by continents, find all the locations and make life very easy for you while completing adventure book. Hope this video helps you understand the basics of how adventure book works. I couldn't really go into detail showing each item and how to complete it as it would be a very lengthy video, but you have a written guide on max roll that you can follow and complete it that way. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing, it's free and you can always unsubscribe. And don't forget to turn your notifications on so you don't miss out on future guides. Thank you for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next one.